everybody, Chris here. I'm doing a little update on my uh, Easy DIY SIP project. Um, in the first video, I mentioned uh, there was an issue with the key lag in the uh, key matrix in IC. Um, I wasn't sure if it was a generation of IC that I was using or if it was inherent to that IC. And I was having trouble finding that information. And I had been working on a volt per octave, a simple volt per octave uh, keyboard scheme. Um, yeah, I'd had a difficult time finding anything that wasn't extremely technical or a couple of them I found were fairly simple, but I never could get them to work. So I did something uh, based on a couple of different uh, schematics I found and then got it all tweaked in to work for what I need. So, basically, we got rid of the we got rid of the lag problem. So, we cleared that all up. Now, this is becoming very useful as an instrument, so I'm probably going to build on it and just keep going. Um, one of the things, uh, if uh, you've watched my uh, top octave synth uh, video, um, I tend to like the phase shift a little, so... shift in this would do a lot of good and then as in my top octave I'm back to add just a touch of volume that's adding a PT2399 delay circuit so give you a look here and quick look at what we're doing and actually may have almost simplified this even more for the initial getting it going um basically you're using two op amps and a resistor chain to uh come up with our volt per octave keyboard one uh, one op amp spans us into volt per octave range and the other op amp is uh is just giving us our gate out so really really simple setup uh, the only problems i had i did use single turn trimmers there which worked just fine but it was really touchy to get it tweaked in perfectly um my volt per octave span i mean i just had to breathe on it to be out and then my gate you know, yeah, I just had to get it in just where it's triggering with the lowest note. And uh, basically, it worked out really nicely. I had looked everywhere for a simple schematic to do that and couldn't find one that actually functioned anywhere. Um, I mean, that leaves some room for improvement if you wanted to do uh, a full keyboard uh full volt per octave keyboard though all I need to get in there is a little bit of sample and hold probably I'll take a look down here we're pretty much the same as we were in the first video we have one board added um, this board I could have uh, uh, ran my resistor chain on the, the faceplate of the old organ board and normally would have but I'd already ran this and wired it for the key matrix IC so I just brought it all up into the resistor chain on a on a perf board right here um then everything else in here is the same now i built a lot of my stuff in stop box form because i play guitar so uh back there in the back the uh gray box is a pt 2399 delay um great great uh delay i see 
and that's basically close to straight out of the out of the the data sheet uh, has a applications down at the bottom I uh, used some modifications done by a guy listed as valve wizard on on the internet the uh, yellow box is a phase shifter uh, based on the MXR phase 45 um, I do a little bit of mod to that instead of the FETs uh, triggering the shift through the filters I'm using a uh, opto isolators to uh, trigger. I fight with getting fats matched just right and it seems like I just have an easier time getting them working right when I switch over to the opto isolators. So basically it's turning into a really neat project. I just need to uh, build an actual PT2399 delay circuit to go in there and a phase shift of some magnitude. And uh, there's a, another look at the schematic of what I did on the on the uh, Volper Optic keyboard. Thank you all for watching.